Hi, I'm Gideon Burton. I want to give you a quick overview about digital literacy. Uh, first of all, we, we know that we're overwhelmed with all kinds of new media today. Uh, it's hard to keep track of them all. And so the question becomes, well, in order to be digitally literate, do I have to learn all of these things? I mean, how do you get, how do you grasp all of that? Uh, some of the services that I'm looking at in here, I notice, have, um, have come and gone. Others have become more or less important. Uh, what do you pay attention to? What do you really need to learn to become digitally literate today? Well, the way I see it, I've divided digital literacy into three overarching principles. The first is consume. Second, create. And the third, connect. And together, I think these three things are what we need to do to become digitally literate. And you notice I haven't named any specific tools or services. These are the larger faculties that we need to develop in the digital age, and that can be done through a variety of specific ways. Okay, so if we go back in and dig in a little deeper here, uh, to consume, what do I mean by that? Well, how do you, how do you take in content? How do you select it? Um, including where, you know, what about um, websites, what about e-readers, um, what are the best means for searching and, and where do I look for a given topic or, or research area, um, filtering for quality, for relevance. Um, another part of consuming intelligently today is keeping good track of, of your sources. It's so easy to click around in the, in the internet and, and not keep track. Um, it also begs the question of, of how do we keep up and um, what, what are the people or what are the, the feeds that I should be following. Um, what tech do I use for what? How do I keep stuff and, and keep it organized? So it, it has to do with consuming and, and really uh, filtering, organizing, selecting, these sorts of things. Alright, so what do I mean by create? Well, um, it has to do with any time you, you generate content. So um, what should I post and, or publish? And where should I do that? How often should I do that? Um, what, what about things that aren't text? What about images or, or, or video? Do I need to learn how to compose that or edit that? How much of that is, is relevant to digital literacy today? Uh, what about the cloud services? Um, should I be backing things up to the cloud, storing things in the cloud? Which cloud service? Um, how important is blogging? And, and what about the micro-blogging platforms like Twitter? Um, how imp what's their relative importance between those and, and and that, those are good questions to ask. Um, uh, part of creating nowadays has to do with organizing and, and presenting things like uh, PowerPoint slides or other varieties of presentations. Um, and, and now, as I'm doing right now, walking through this presentation, it's, this is a Prezi presentation, but I've also made a screencast out of it by recording it, uh, recording me talking through it as I'm displaying it. Well, what kind of uh, skills do we need to have for that? Is that a uh, critical one to know nowadays? Um, how much do we need to pay attention to the photos that we are uh, taking in terms of taking with our phones or that we are taking by uh, taking them from online sources? And uh, how do we organize those and what's the appropriate way to go about all of that? Um, visual design is something now that literacy didn't always entail but becomes more and more important. How do I design my blog or how do I design my profile <clears throat> so it looks um, decent and represents me well. Um, other kinds of visual tools, uh, mind mapping or brainstorming tools uh, or uh, different kinds of maps or layers that you can put onto maps, animations, slideshows. We've got a lot of different ways that we can do that. The larger category here is um, visual, <coughs> visually communicating. Um, wikis. Wikis can be part of that whole consume thing as you are reading things, but if you are making a wiki, it's a good way of, of organizing information. Um, remix is a big deal nowadays, as is user-generated content in general. Uh, what, are, what are the rules for that? What are the advantages of it? What are the problems or dangers with that? Uh, especially with respect to intellectual property. Do I know about Creative Commons and, and, and do I know how to license materials that I create so that they can either be kept from use or that people can use them without having to request permission. 
So that's what I see with create. With connect, uh, this has a lot to do with, with social media, of course, uh, nowadays. Um, but not just things like Facebook. What about social bookmarking? How could I keep track of things and share them with others in a meaningful way? Um, what about book-centered social networks or other kinds of uh, topic-centered networks uh, like on the uh, Ning network? Um, how about collaboration? This is pretty much a, a, a really baseline expectation nowadays. Um, what are the tools that I need in order to be able to effectively collaborate with other people in work settings or school settings? Um, I've got different ways that I can, I can connect with people. Uh, when is it best to, to chat uh, in person or to chat using text, not some kind of text, texting client, instant messaging? What about text messaging, email? There are different ways that we can reach out. They can have different rhetorical functions or purposes. Um, what about social discovery? How do I find people that are interested in the topics that I'm interested in and then use the things that they've created and, and bookmarked and so on? to aid my own research? And how do I go about finding meaningful online groups that share my, my common interests? And I am talking about things beyond simply uh, Facebook pages uh, wh where, where there are lots of different smaller niche communities across the web doing different things. Um, how about connecting through uh, a conference call, which is just audio, or a video chat? Uh, do I know how to use Google? Hangouts or uh, Skype or other such services. Um, and wh what about taking the online world offline? How do I connect with people appropriately that I meet online? Um, I'm not talking about necessarily for, for uh, social purposes purely, but the social component is a very important part of, of that. And uh, so w what's the balance to be made as you're meeting people on or offline? Um, webinars are becoming an increasing way of getting information as are uh, on online learning platforms. Uh, how do I participate in those? What, what's the best way to do that? How about subscribing to others' calendars or, or making my own calendar available for others to connect with me? Um, what about uh, events as well? This is an, an important way to connect with other people today and, and we can use uh, apps on our mobile phones or other ways to either advertise events or to um, follow events that are significant in areas of interest. Um, what about location-based services, things that are GPS oriented? Uh, how can I share common interests through that? Uh, text messaging has tended to, most people think of it as being casual and just among friends or family, but can I use it for serious academic or business purposes? And, and then, of course, uh, connecting is all about relationships, and so you have to have a sense of balance and propriety about uh, whom you interact with and when, and uh, as I said before, whether you, you move from online to off or offline to online in your communication. So those are some basic areas where connecting is important. I didn't uh, set this out in order to answer all these questions, but to, to ask them to get us thinking about what are the very aspects of what are the var variable aspects of digital literacy? Uh, I know that it is always going to be something that we're, we're renewing because we're in a quickly moving environment that requires us to keep up. But I think if we keep our eye on these three larger principles, then we'll be able to navigate all the novelty and uh, get done the work that we need to do without feeling obligated to learn and master every possible new tool or service that's out there on the web. Thank you.